Breast cancer? If it's gone, then what's the problem? What are Miss Lin and Director Zeng so worried about? Don't you know that even after it's been treated, it's still dangerous to give birth? No idea. Really? Danger from what? Hey, Meng, will you tell him why? Per clinical data, pregnancy can speed up the recurrence and transition of cancer and can cause complications influencing the treatment. And whether pregnancy after treatment is recommended, a diagnosis should be given by oncology and gynecology to determine the state of the patient's health and gestation ability before pregnancy. But typically, it's not recommended as it causes endocrine imbalance, in turn, causing disruption in the patient's health. Furthermore, let's see. Breast milk will induce production of prolactin, and prolactin is a hormone which also causes tumor growth. An increase of prolactin causes growth of other cancer cells in the body, so breast cancer patients should be particularly cautious. Clinical data also shows that breast milk overall induces tumor growth and spreading. Okay, okay, stop. Amazing. Hey, even if you didn't know how bad it was, you can't consider her a god. I'm just expressing my admiration to Ms. Zhou Yi Meng. You are a living human database. Zhao Chong, have you no sense of empathy? And instead, we should all be focusing on thinking of a solution here. It's her personal problem. What can we do? If only the doctor who treated her had chosen conservative treatment. Not really. Removal is the safest, most reliable method. If conservative treatment failed, then she'd miss the best chance and the cells would spread. Then it'd be too late. In this case, I think we should let the patient decide on what to do. It's still her own body, right? And she has to accept her own life after surgery. When the doctor takes the initiative, it might not have been much to them, but later, they find out that their life took a big change. At this time, I think that most people would think that they got ripped off pretty good. Hey, is there any food left? <laughs> Here, I saved these for you. Hey, are you two dating? What are you talking about? We're just eating together, that's all. She's right, you know. Is that what you think of me? There's a lot here. Have some. I brought some, too. My parents' dumplings. Go on, eat. Wow, you're having lobster, right? I love it. Have some. I can't eat his lobster of love. Xiao Chan, you have one. But if you won't eat it, how can I? <laughs> <laughs> Shen. Yes? Thank you for dinner and for bringing us back. My pleasure, <laughs> Uncle. Hey, Xing Xuan, did you use my phone? Oh, Xiao Chang called earlier, said it was urgent. But you weren't working. I was afraid if you heard, you'd want to go. You're using my phone now? Xing Xuan's just worried about you. You're no longer an ER, so you don't have to worry anymore. Mom, I'm just used to it. And that can change. Okay, I'll change it. A good comrade can change his ways. You still touched Ow. my phone. Now you want to be like Xiao Chan? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll go ahead. You take care. Bye, Shen. Okay, bye. <sighs> I'm still worried. I'll call Ai Xiao Chan. Wow, nice shot. Mm. I really don't get it. What's so great about soccer? Oh, Meng. You sure have no passion for life. Look at me. I mean, I don't understand it as well, but I can still have fun watching it. Well, Xiao Chan, that's because you're interested in anything that involves shouting. And that's why I'm cuter than you. Mm, dumb in a cute way. Now that Dr. Ouyang has given up on you, what will you do, huh? So you're both going to pick on me now? See that? She hasn't given up on me. Who? Hello, Dr. Ouyang. Uh, Xiao Chong called you earlier because there was a woman here giving birth. Oh, it was really urgent. But fortunately, I'm good at... Uh, well, putting it simply, the baby was born and they're both okay, so everything's fine. Hello, Dr. Wang. So Yimang, where are you? We're all in the classroom eating. Su's back. Get down here. Okay, got it. Guys, Su's back. What? Dr. Oyang, Su's back. I've got to go. Sue's back. You're worried about him? Mm. I can take you there, if you want me to go. It's okay. I won't go. I'm heading up. You rest well. Dr. 
Chung, please think of something. Please save him. All right, don't worry. We save him every time, don't we? So trust us. He'll be fine this time as well. Uh, okay. Everybody, pick up the pace. Oh, my son. <laughs> How is he? Gastrointestinal bleeding. In shock. How did this happen? Why didn't you come earlier? When did the bleeding start? Just right after dinner. Then we came straight here. The past few days haven't been so good. Call the blood bank and prepare for transfusion. Director Ma. I'm afraid it's too late for a transfusion. Darling, don't worry. Mommy's here. Mommy's here. Don't be scared. Good boy. Hi, Sue. Hang in there. It's almost morning. Darling. Good boy. Good boy. Listen to me. Don't sleep, okay? Look. Mr. Ma, Mr. Chung, and all your other friends are here as well. They'll all be here for you. Dad's here also, so don't sleep, okay? Good boy. Don't sleep. <sighs> <sighs> The way his bones are right now. We can't compress. Kids will be kids. But don't you want to scream as well? I do. Me too. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Oyang. Sue just died. He died? That fast? Just now. <laughs> when he came in, he was almost gone. Gastrointestinal bleeding. 
Dr. Oyoung, are you still there? Is that Oyoung? Let me talk to her. She hung up. Hey, what is it? Are you okay? I'm sure I'll be just fine. <sighs> it's chilly. Let's go back. Yeah, it is pretty chilly tonight. You know, she might not have left yet, but her heart already has. And the young I know just isn't like that. That thing you said just now shows that you don't know everything about her. So Shen Ching Chuan won, and you lost. So you're saying that she's always been like that? Huh? Right. She has been wanting to leave the ER for a long time now. Her heart was never in it. You got that? Sue just died. I know how you feel. You must feel terrible and sad right now. However, you can't take it too personally. You shouldn't be thinking like that in this world. There are many illnesses that we doctors cannot cure. And there are so many patients that we cannot save. If every time a patient passes on and we doctors always get emotionally affected, then our lives wouldn't be able to bear that much pain. I just feel sad for Sue's mom. To them, it's a release. She had it so rough. Jing Xuan, do you think that what we're doing is wrong? Do you mean leaving the ER? To be honest, I never liked ER. There's so much death, hopelessness, so many misunderstandings. But now, after suddenly deciding to leave, my heart's confused. If I leave, will they be able to handle it? What if because of me leaving, more patients end up dying? Or if I start a trend for all the doctors who don't like the ER and they end up leaving as well? If they all leave the ER, then won't it be... Ouyang, you can look at it this way. We aren't the only ones in the ER. It won't stop running without you. And besides, you're not the only ER doctor in the world, okay? Also, you're not quitting medicine. You're just transferring. You're going to... Save other patients who will be needing you much more. So don't worry too much. Don't pressure yourself. Don't put all that responsibility on you. <laughs> you make it sound like I'm so great. Don't stress yourself. Get some sleep. Get a hold of your feelings and let it all go. Mm. So, how's the test report looking? Almost done. Oh, Dr. Chung, that mother's report is ready too. Didn't you refuse the test? Xiao Chen's been working with her. She finally agreed today. Wow. Hey, nice work. This hemoglobin's kinda low. Director Zhang, take a look at this report. This here's the x-ray for that mother. Hemoglobin count is low. Did you do any of the tests? How about the chest CAT scan to see how the surgery was? Too many people are doing CAT scans. We couldn't get a booking. But I did call a doctor from breast surgery, and he said that they would take a look. <laughs> My goodness, it's been quite a holiday. Arrange it ASAP, no time to waste. Mm -hmm. See which hospital she had it done, what went on, and check the mm -hmm. records. Right. Okay, then. <laughs> Xiao Chen. You've done well these past few days. Dr. Zhang from Obstetrics praises you a lot and hopes you'll transfer there someday. Really? <laughs> Are you interested? Dr. Oyang's left me. I'm like a wandering spirit right now, so I might as well go. We can talk when she gets back. Mm -hmm. Hey, you'll really transfer? Director, that mother, she's disappeared. Huh? The mother's gone? She was there when I went to take her temperature around five. Then when I brought her meal, she was gone. 
Not again. How could this happen? I'm sorry, Director. Is the child there? I don't think she'd just leave the child here. There must be a reason. She only talks to you now. In the past few days, has anything unusual happened? She did tell me a bit about herself. Mostly complaining. She and her boyfriend were getting married. Then she found out she had breast cancer. The doctor didn't mention conservative treatment and just went straight with removal. Her mother-in-law used to like her, but cut off ties right away when she found out. She said with breast cancer, she couldn't give birth and tried to make them break up. Her boyfriend didn't want to and insisted on marrying her, which caused problems with his family, so they went on to live on their own. Zhu Yun wanted her mother-in-law to change the way she felt with her, so she wanted to have a baby, but her boyfriend didn't agree. He was afraid a cancer would return. She got pregnant without him knowing. And when her belly got big, she kept it hidden until she was found out by us. My, that's quite the story she has. If that's the case, then she should take the baby to show to her mother-in-law. Why would she leave on her own? Maybe she went to see her boyfriend, because the bill isn't paid yet. That's quite likely. Besides, what can we do? We can only wait for her. But if she doesn't come back, what do we do with the child? Based on what I know of her, she'll be back for sure. Take the child to obstetrics, and have the nurses take care of her. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Is she still asleep? Don't worry. We'll have nurses looking after her 24 hours a day. You'll have my word for it. Then I thank you on behalf of the child and her mother. Actually, Xiao Chan, it's the child and mother who should be thanking you. <laughs> You're the most talented intern I've seen. Well, are you willing to transfer here with us? Of course I am. Um, but then... What's holding you back? Well, nothing really. Dr. Zhang, can you give me more time to think about it? Oh, no problem. You take your time and think. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Xiao Chen, you're really transferring? You'd better be sure. Because if you do, not only will you be betraying us, every day you'll have to face a bunch of bawling little kids. Brawling little kids? You're the little kid. They're adorable little angels. Xiao Chen, ignore him. I support you. Oh, stop. I haven't decided yet. What? What's with the look? Did you freeze? You need me to reboot you? Zhou Yimang, I think I'm hallucinating. I think I am too, Xiao Chong. What are you talking about? It's lunchtime, let's eat. I'm hungry. Yo! Uh, uh, um. uh, you guys eating? Sushi, unagi, and sashimi? Xiao Chong, hmm? I want some too. So do I. Then eat, what are you telling me for? Four mountains. You guys can't eat here anymore. I can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> Meanies. <laughs> and you're not being mean. Exactly. I didn't make you look at my food, did I? <gasps> wrong, wrong, you bully. It's okay, just calm down. <laughs> hey, now what if Shu Yun, if she doesn't come back at all, what will become of the kid? Probably send her to the orphanage. Mm. That would be so sad. Yeah, and that baby's too cute to suffer like that, you know? What logic is that? Just because she's cute, she shouldn't have to suffer? You can't base on looks. Oh! Four mountains! Wrong, wrong, feel sorry for the baby, right? Isn't there anything you want to say? With your family's background, adopting a child like that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> I was actually thinking about that. But I don't know if wrong, wrong would agree. If we adopted under my name, then she'd have to call me Papa. <laughs> if that were to happen, would Rong Rong allow herself to be called Mama? <laughs> what are you thinking? That's too fast, isn't it? <laughs> nice one! Now that is the epitome of gallantry, my friends! You took something cheesy and made it sound like wind in the night, the trickle of a river! Let's <laughs> see. What's wrong? I'm just thinking. What? <laughs> wow, what's happened to you? Starting to think about life now? 
Dr. Chung, if Chu Yun really leaves the baby here, what'll happen to her? Then we talk about that. She should come back. Don't worry. And what if she doesn't? Then we'll just look for her. Is everything okay? Huh? I just feel sorry for the baby. And for Ju Yun too. You know what? Lots of people feel sorry for others. If you're going to be so compassionate, you should take my advice and don't even think about becoming a doctor. Go to a temple and be a monk. Don't you have any sense of empathy? <laughs> Listen, in this world, the last thing we or any other doctor needs is empathy. Empathy is inferior to action. Empathy is inferior to action? <laughs> Think about that, all right? Hi, Mom. What's up? Yes? Okay. Wait for me. I'll be right there. Your blood test show. Dr. Warm. Trump! Huh? I'll see you later. Hey! Wait, where are you going? To act! I'm going to act! Oh, to be young again. <laughs> Mom! So, oh, son. well, where is it? Wait here. Chan, take this. Hold where your horses. It? Here. Take a look. It's either eyes or Zeus things. Nothing much in there, just a wallet with a bit of cash in it. Some tissues and a medical record booklet. You know you doctors, you write like chicken scratches. I can't read a word of it. Hey look. Wait! Son! Kids these days. What did you find? Julian's record booklet. So, what do you want that for? What is it? Here, take a look. This. Don't you see? Julian's cancer removal surgery was done at our hospital, and these are the records to prove it. But she's not here, so why would you want this? That's right. And here I thought you made some huge discovery, making us all run here. You think it's funny? But aren't you even curious on how her treatment was done or how her surgery was done? She has so much resentment for doctors, so it must have something to do with her treatment. I'm sorry, I'm busy. I just don't have any time to play detective with you. Huh? Well, you play by yourself. We have adult things to do. Bye. When you first get back, don't stress yourself. I'll be back at the hospital too. Outpatient in the morning, sick rooms in the afternoon. Ooyang, just give me a call if you need me. I'll pick you up when I'm done. I still don't know what my schedule is like. If it's overnights, then there's no need. Okay, I won't bother you. But you will have to promise me something. What's that? To make yourself happy. <laughs> your mom will talk to Director Zeng and Dean Chu about your transfer. And I'll be helping her out. So in the ER, try to get involved as little as you can. Sounds good? Mm, of course. Dr. Oryang! What are you so excited about? Because you're back. You're finally back. I won't be in the ER, but I'll be in the building. Come see me if you need me, okay? <laughs> Whoa, I thought you wouldn't show up here anymore. Transferring takes a while, of course. So you've decided then? Pretty much. Good. I wish you all the best. <laughs> Dr. Oyang, if you're going to leave the ER, then I am too. What? You're coming with me? You don't even want me, so can I still cling on to you? And Dr. Zhang in obstetrics said she wanted to take me in. That's great. Ai Jiaotian, I heard you saved a mother. 
Is it because of that? Now who would have thought that you had it in you, right? Dr. Ouyang, it's because you weren't there and Zhao Chong and Zhu Yimong didn't know what they were doing, so I had to take over. But as it turns out, I'm actually good at it. Well, you're back, packing your stuff. I won't be leaving that quickly. Well, I think you should. You're not completely here anyway. Since I'm chief resident, so if anything happens, I don't want to take the blame for it. I know you have problems with me. Dr. Ouyang, if you stay with us, I promise that there will be no problems at all. Okay, enough of that. So, how's the mother you're handling? Tell me more about her. But there is a lot to tell. Well, just summarize it then. How to summarize it all? Well, she had breast cancer before, and had a breast removed, and then she got pregnant and had a baby. Wow, it's that bad? Oh, it gets worse. You see... Dr. Chung, mm -hmm. um, how do we look up patient information? What for? Oh, well, I need it for my thesis. What? We can't do that. Patient files are strictly managed. They won't let you use them for your thesis. Unless the director signs for it, of course. Besides, you'll need both the patient's name and their inpatient number to search them up. Oh. Huh? Dr. Chung, look. Isn't that woman Zhang Jun's mom? Yeah, I think it is. But what is she doing here? Didn't Zhang Jun leave? Yes? Excuse oh. me. Hi, ma'am. Can we help you with something? I'm looking for Dr. Ouyang. Is she in yet? Can we know why you're asking for her? My son's a lot better now. He told me that I had to find her no matter what, and apologize for him. Oh, all right then. Dr. Ouyang's inside now, so why don't you just go in and see oh, her? Oh, thank goodness. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> so just keep an eye on him? Oh, Dr. Ouyang? Dr. Ouyang? Uh, I... Yes, why are you here? Uh, can I help you? Uh, uh, I'm so glad I found you. My son's better now. He asked me to come and find you, and apologize for him. Oh. Ah, uh, right. He also asked me to give you this. What's this for? Uh, look at the back. He wrote something there for you. Dr. Ouyang, I know my son broke the law. He never should have done that and tried to get revenge on you. Please forgive him. Please don't hate him. He's really a good boy. When he's not fixating, he just stays home and talks. And he always talks about you, about how great a person Dr. Ouyang is. Really. And this photo was in a picture frame in our home. He asked me to personally give it to you. Not to make you feel bad, but to tell you that he knows he was wrong. So that means he just wants to give it to me? That's right. That's what he said. Okay, I'll accept it. Madam, please tell Zhang Jun to let his wounds heal and make up for his mistakes. Mm. Please tell him I don't hate him. Alright, everything's fine now. Please don't cry. What's past is past. Thank you so much. On behalf of my son, I bow down to you. Oh no, ma'am, please don't do that. There, let's go now. Hello, can I help you? Hi, I'm looking for records for Chu Yun. Inpatient number? I don't know. You don't know? What do you do here? I'm an intern working in the ER. I was sent for some files for our analysis report. If you only know the name, and not the number, there's no way I can get it. Please, sir. I already got the name, just take a look for me. They're waiting for me. Sorry, I really can't. They're all arranged by inpatient number. Hey, I need a file for a patient named Zhang Jun. Okay. Oh, hello. Uh, Dr. Ouyang, I need a record for our analysis report. He's from your department. Looking up a file, but no inpatient number. Whose file? Well, uh, someone named Chu Yun. Which bed? Room three, you don't know? Hey, Wang Yue, look it up for him. Once you put in the name, it'll come up. We have to be strict with the system, or everything will get out of order. Please do it. Chu Yun. There are several Chu Yuns. Which one is it? How old is she? Uh, 23. Breast cancer. 
Ah, I found her. Just one moment, and I'll get it for thanks. you. Thank you. Hey, thanks for that. No problem. Dr. Ouyang, why do you need Zhang Jun's report? I just thought I'd go over it. That wasn't your fault, okay? There was no problem with the treatment, but I didn't think carefully about it. Dr. Ouyang, everyone says you're cold, but I don't think you are. You're very warm-hearted. I think you're great for the ER. Just because I am, doesn't mean I have to stay. Everyone has their own life. If you were to stay there forever, would you be happy? I don't know. What's up? Dr. Chung. Can you take a look at this? What is it? Is that breast cancer? I'm no expert there. Just take a look, please. Expert or not, you're better than me. I can't just say whatever. Uh... Bong Bo! Yeah? Come here, will ya? Take a look! Aren't you the x-ray master of the hospital? Oh, absolutely. This is breast cancer. Uh... I... can't help. Who is it? She's... a friend. Just ask breast surgery. Or better yet, a breast cancer specialist. I don't know anyone. Dr. Wang, maybe you know someone who can... you know, help me. Call Dr. Lee. You know, there's always something going on with you every day now, isn't there? Just a sec. Let me call him for you. <sighs> Dr. Lee, it's Chang Jun from ER. Oh, no, no, don't worry. It's not a diagnosis, Doc. <laughs> Thing is, I have an x-ray for a friend that I'd like you to take a look at. Oh. Yes, that's it. Sure. Uh, ten minutes? Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Sounds good. Thank you, thank you. Okay, see you soon. Dr. Lee's not there right now. He's away, but you can video chat him. How about <laughs> this? There are too many people here, so it's not the best place. Take my tablet to the classroom and say some nice stuff to him, all right? Right. Thanks, Dr. Chung. Thank you, too, Dr. Wang. It's nothing. Dr. Lee. Please take a look at this x-ray. Is there a problem here? What's her relationship to you? She's a friend. Oh. Mm. There's a problem right here. Is it bad? What is it? Well, from the x-ray alone, it's really hard to say. But based on my experience, it's most likely breast cancer. Should she have surgery? How old is she? Well, she's... Uh, about 23. She's that young? Mm. Uh, that side's okay, but there's a problem on this side, right here. So, do you think she should get surgery? And if she doesn't want to, are there any other treatments? She's quite young, so you will have to be careful about this. Um, who was she to you, really? She's a really good friend. Oh. How about this, then? Uh, why don't you just bring her over some time? Since this is really just the x-ray you've shown me, without seeing the patient, I cannot be sure. I need the whole picture. Dr. Lee, let's say, just put it this way. If she were family to you, what would you do? Would you do a full removal? I can't tell you this. It makes no difference. Whether she were my family or a stranger, when it comes to cancer, if I can already see it in the x-ray, that just means it is quite serious. It all depends on what the person, what your friend thinks about it. If she knows a lot about the situation, then we can find the cause and then solve it fast. With surgery or not, sometimes people just get lucky, so it's really hard to conclude. But would you recommend removal for her? In this case, I would have to see her family's history, and most importantly, I would have to ask her first her opinion about it. Because she's still quite young and this can't be taken lightly. It is serious. No one wants to decide. And if she doesn't accept the result, then no matter how good it is, it would be a failure. So you mean she shouldn't do surgery then? Oh no, that's not what I meant. I'm saying, huh, how can I put it? A lot of doctor-patient disputes always revolve around this. A successful surgery doesn't always mean a successful treatment. Surgery is just a part of it. We also have to do lots of psychological counseling, but in clinical medicine, this is not emphasized much. The patient always thinks that the surgery will end up solving the problem, 
and the doctor wants to do a successful surgery. But there are lots of post-surgery disputes that doctors also have to deal with. So if you ask me of my opinion, based on what I know about cancer, as long as it's already confirmed, then I recommend removal. Don't put it off. Think of what to say to her. Yes, she's young and it's too bad, but it is also a chance for her to face the hard truth. The patient on bed 11 wasn't doing so well this morning. She vomited twice. Be sure to check on her frequently, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, I will. Huh? That woman! She looks like Zhu Yun. Wrong, wrong. Chen Shen, there's a patient. Come on. Uh. Let's go. Where is it? This one. Where's the baby? Nurse, I'm Zhu Yun from bed three. Have you seen my baby? Zhu Yun! Dr. Ai, where are you going? My baby's gone. I placed her in the maternity department. You left her all alone here. I thought you ran off on her. I didn't run off. I needed money, so I went back to get some. Is she okay? She's perfectly fine. Don't worry, there are nurses watching her around the clock. <sighs> You... you're Dr. Ai, right? Thank you. Thank you for saving my daughter. This is my mother. You're welcome, ma'am. This is what we doctors do. Where is she? Can we please see her? I'll take you there. <laughs> Are you okay now? I am. Where is she? Oh, she wants her mommy. Here, quick. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? It feels good. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that in the ER, you often see people die and pass away. Families crying there and causing a fuss. But in obstetrics, every day new lives are born. And most of the families are very happy about it. It's happier here. Then why hesitate? Dr. Zhang, please give me a little more time. I haven't decided yet. Doctor, can we leave already? You and the baby may go. Once you pay the fee, you can leave now. I can take you there. Mm. Take us where? Uh, to pay. Dear, we won't be paying for this one. But then, who will? Oh, someone will. You just wait and see. Mom. How could you call Gu Xiaomeng when I was sleeping? It's not fair. And how could I not? Is it the child his too? If he doesn't pay, who will? I don't care about the money. I can raise the baby. But she still needs a father as well. But I still haven't decided how to tell his mother about this. You're not married. Why should she care? You have one mother, and that's me. Ma'am, please don't get angry. You have to keep calm. Listen, Dr. Ai. How can I not be angry? Just look at what my daughter did. She got pregnant and didn't tell us, and then she ran off on all of us. We couldn't find her for months. As her mother, I was so scared and worried. Then last night, she just showed up, saying she gave birth and needed money in order to pay the bill. We live in Hebei, which is over a hundred kilometers away, and she just gave birth. Can she handle that trip? And she was rushing to get back to the hospital when she just arrived. I was the one who forced her to sleep at home for a night. Now tell me, why can't she just call Gu Xiaomeng and ask him to help? My daughter gave birth and risked her life to have this baby. So shouldn't Xiaomeng and his mom pay for the hospital bill at least? Well, your mom is sort of right. You just gave birth. Don't be running around like that. What else could I do then? I didn't want to call Gu Xiaomeng. But I wasn't sure, so I just went home. And also, I just thought... That since you're my mother, you wouldn't turn me down, would you? Oh, so you really know that much, huh? Yes? Oh, you're here. Where are you? Okay, we're on our way. Is it Xiaomeng? Yes. Oh, wait here. Grandma's going to go get your daddy.
个世界只剩一点，我还会为爱勇敢一点，再爱一点，再爱一点，紧紧拥抱这个世界。如果心跳可以听见，就能听懂我爱的宣言，请让我陪在你的身边。在你的身边，在爱爱你的世界 ，Love forever。